Hey guys, today I'll be sharing with you a video review of the WiMAX Go Advance. Thanks to the WiMAX team for providing this sample device that I could share. Yeah, so let's go on with it. This is the power adapter, which comes with a USB type C output, uh, which is used to charge a part of the device. Uh, these are the ratings of the power adapter as well. Might help answer a few questions that have been asked as regards what the ratings are and what it would look like. So yeah. Do you also have the remote control? I really love the remote control because it's very simple, minimal, um, easy to use as well. Um, I also love the fact that connecting my Amazon Fire Stick to the Wii Max Go Advanced, I could control my Fire Stick with the Wii Max remote control as well. So, just one remote control to solve two devices being controlled. And this is the Wii Max Go Advanced itself. At the right bottom, you have some fan vents, which is where the fan is located. And you also have the USB type C power input. You have a 3.5 mm jack. You have a USB port and an HDMI port. Um, it was really cool having the USB ports right beside the HDMI port. So that way I could power my Amazon Fire Stick with a USB port and just connect it to the HDMI input as well. And the Wii Max Go Advance could actually do that without anything else. So the sides of the Wii Max Go Advanced, you have some vents as well, which is where the speakers are located. So you wouldn't want to block that. Underneath the Wii Max Go Advanced, you have a stand, which you could use to tilt and adjust the height of the Wii Max Go Advanced. But I actually found the autofocus mode of the Wii Max Go Advanced really helpful and really didn't even need to use the stand for adjusting the projected image onto the wall. At the top of it, you have a power indicator, which is located at the end there, a really small tick, really nice and cool looking. At the front of the Wii Max Go Advance, you have the projector lens itself, which is really small. Uh, you also have a camera hole punched in there, and that camera hole is used to focus whatever image you're projecting onto a wall. So when you're in the autofocus mode, you wouldn't want to block that camera. You could also just slide that put cover through, and that just protects the camera and the projector lens itself. The WiMAX Go Advance has a 1080p native resolution and projects images at 600 ANSI lumens. It also supports HDR and has a custom Android OS so you could easily install your favorite streaming apps, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, um, easily onto the projector. In the next sections of this video, I'll be sharing my experience watching a video clip off from YouTube. I'm playing a game on the PlayStation 5 in a dark environment and also a bright environment with some sunlight. This is also the size of the device relative to my PlayStation 5 controller. It also has a built-in battery um, and it also has this cool feature which they call obstacle avoidance. So if you're projecting an image onto the wall, it would avoid all the obstacles around that just so you could get a plain surface where it actually projects the image onto it. I'll be showing a video how it actually did that. So this is my setup of the Wii Max Go Advance. It is placed three meters away from the wall. And this is what the image looks like in a dark room. And in a bright room with some sunlight, this is what it actually also looks like. So you could see how bright the image also is. I must say, this is very impressive for a projector of its size. So I pulled up on the windows in my room and you could see how the image looks in a bright environment. Um, it still looks really cool and clear to see. In the next part of the video, I would show the same video clip um, in a dark room and we could just see what that looks like as well. So this is watching the same video in a dark room. You can see how smartly the Wii Max Go Advanced avoids the shelf on top and that other hook on the wall just to make sure you have your image projected into a clean and clear surface. So it's that's a really cool feature it also has that I really enjoy.
Gaming on the Wii Max Go Advance is really cool. This is a Spider-Man game on the PlayStation 5. And this is with a bright environment. You could still see how it actually looks really cool. Um, I love playing video games. So having to, to get a video game and I could project this on a huge screen in my room. It's just fantastic and amazing to have, guys. And this is what it looks like playing a video game in a dark environment. I think the dark levels are a lot better in a dark environment, which I think applies to every single projector. So if you're having a projector set up, it would be good to just have a dark environment as well to enjoy that quality video and that good experience. So that's it guys, that's my review of the Wii Max Go Advance. This image here shows the size of the image I was projecting on the wall, but it could go as high as 120 inches in size. The Wii Max Go also comes with a built-in battery so you could run the projector without connecting into power supply. I did a test run on this and it actually lasted me for around 40 to 50 minutes, which I think it's fair enough. Let me know in the comment sections down below if you have any other questions or what you would like me to review about this great device. So that's it guys, thank you.